Okay, so I'm just gonna <coughs> record here how to start from scratch with the UI that I've defined and uh, see if uh, how long it really takes after I've actually literally spent a really long time configuring all of this um, just so you see how easy it is to uh, basically get everything so uh, I start th this is just I just literally log this character so as you can see the UI has some of the add-ons that I've clicked uh, not of them not all of them are uh, active but the ones that I chose to first. use they are so I will basically just go start with the base UI edit mode and select this base UI which uh, I can also import by pasting the text that I've shared before uh, but basically I already have it saved so I'm just going to use the base UI as you can see the boxes went to the places um, traditionally um, details uh, imports all of your uh, the same profile for all of your characters but you can, on profiles, create one profile per character if you want. I'll just stick to uh, the one that I had uh, changes, the one that I had for uh, for all my characters. So I'll just leave the uh, basically damage done, healing done, and threat meters over there. As you can see, like the unit frames are now like on a default position. So I'll just change that straight away. I'll go with um, shadowed unit frames and go to profiles and then copy my uh, dragon flight profile and then you see like the now the uh, bars targets and uh, player target pets and focus are all in the same place as my traditional profile this character in particular, since he is, he can be a tank or a healer, so that's why I kind of also set the unit frames in the place that I did. I'm gonna tick lock frames so you see where they sit, and I'm gonna move this over here and then revert the changes there. So I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna move this to the corner. These are the boss frames. Party and raid frames are all at the same place. Basically, the way it works is. Um, I can actually just uh, disable raid for a second so you see so this is where my party will be so when I'm doing a dungeon if I enable the raid again you'll see it kind of goes on top of the party I can disable the party so you see where the raid goes okay and I'll just leave this here here and then basically I can look at the uh, DBM warnings first slash DBM Go to options, Korg UI, start test bars and move them. And I can close. As you can see, they're all here in the corner where it doesn't really affect neither the boss frames nor the party frames. And I can still see my character pretty uh, pretty decently. Um, actually, if I just zoom out, as you can see, I can see pretty much everything. Run away. And then I have the weak auras, which probably need a little bit more customization for by character to character but basically Four, if you have three, your weak auras two, in one. certain places then they usually should go here like for instance i Four, for this character i three, do have one two, for tanking which one. is iron fur which is here in the corner kind of allows me to see how many stacks of iron fur i have i'm actually gonna make it a little bit uh, smaller uh, Four, three, two, one. Defensive. No. Okay, it's not this way. With. Um. How far? Where exactly is it? Okay, wait here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, maybe like 180 pixels, or maybe even less, 160 pixels, and then I'll move it on top of my frame. I can see the iron first stacks anyway. And that's pretty much it. 
this is literally how long it took me to configure all of this. So basically five minutes and it's set up. Now if I just start unlinking the stuff like closing weak auras, locking the frames, closing the base UI, as you can see, like super still super clean. So I can see most of the game. Everything else is in the bottom. You know, no biggie. Um, remember when you uh, actually one of the things that we need to do is although you configure stuff on the edit mode and whatnot to actually see the same bars you need to make sure that they are all active on the uh, gaming or inside in-game options so for instance if you uh, turn off actually bar 5 it will never be there and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed